Ten years ago, when I decided to travel around America collecting recipes and food stories, I expected to dive deep into the old melting pot. Instead, I found immigrants who were opposed to tossing their food into one big pot and cooking it until their food tastes like everybody else's food. They did not want to Americanize their cooking. They wanted to be a distinct component of a wild and crazy multicultural buffet. Sociologists call this the tossed salad syndrome. I should have seen it coming. When I was growing up there, Columbus, Ohio was the test market capital for new food products. Back then, we took pride in having perfectly average taste. I cut my gourmet teeth on free samples of cheesy manwiches and sloppy Joe chili. Then all of a sudden, after the 1965 Immigration Act, we were offered French onion soup dip, hamburger bun pizza, chow mein parfait. I was too busy planning my escape to notice the change. I wanted to go someplace with a Chinatown and a little Italy. Some place where eating was dining and cooking was cuisine and everybody wanted to be better than average. I assumed that Columbus would stay the same. Wrong. There's still no Chinatown, no little Italy, but the United Nations of Gastronomy is scattered through its suburbs today. Columbus is one big tossed salad. I shopped at a Serbian deli and a Persian spice store for things to take home to New York City. On the way to the manicurist, my mother said, Try to get her recipe for Vietnamese pho. She's from Saigon. Her recipe's better than the lawyer from Hanoi who moved in down the street. Bye-bye, melting pot. Hello, Columbus.